Hello everyone, Slamet the Hedgehog here. Today, I'm going to be showing another secret. It's my enhanced whisk power. So I'm going to throw, go through like each one. And I have like, geez, like with the power of wisps. I know it's obvious for like the colors part. Of like those attacks or something, but this is over limit. I somehow did like a drill punch with with the drill wisp. Somehow, basically, it's like really effective against the bad mix. They might have done it when owning plus Megalux in, the, in beforehand. Basically, I know he's returners and stuff. So annoying. But I can also like create earthquakes and stuff. Wait, no, not earthquakes. That one's too obvious. Because that would be too obvious. Basically, I would also, like, create, like, um, huge, I could basically, like, spawn, like, a bunch of, like, moles. Well, not, like, moles that could, like, um, they're very annoying. Moles! Like in moles that would... Like... Help bars and like... Ugh. Is that... A mole character with such a thing... I hope I would be happy... To use that ability. This enhancement. Okay. Laser. So basically, I was able to use like some laser beam eyes. But yeah, I gained laser beam eyes with this like laser wisp. Plus, I could like um speed like a pinball as well. My spin dash. And another thing, this, when I played Song Colors Ultimate, this Wisp is like really cool. Alright, Cube Wisp. Basically, like the Cube Wisp in itself, how it creates platforms when combined with the Cube Wisp. Instead of just one, I create two. Yeah, so basically like two times the platform length coming out of my coming out of my wrist gauntlets somehow I could like basically Like, more a able to, like, easily create a stronger cube prisoning range. Yeah. Basically, I know the cube wisp is, like, really, it's like, it's really cool in Sonic Forces to me. But I know to others, it's just going to be, like, very... Bad to their opinion. It, well, it's what they think. It's what they think. If not, there would be something that would completely. I'm just not going to speak about that part. So, next, hover wisps. So, basically, this. Enhanced my flight. 
not like transforming to a wisp itself. It made my wings outlines turn green. Basically, I had like more flight capability, enhanced flight capability and like combat or something. And then, of course, there's this like really wait no screw it that was a part of it and I was able to like completely like fly swiftly very fast okay spike wisp Basically, this enhanced my spines, my quills, my back spines, my tail, anything spiky enough. And it would, like, basically, like, impale any robot or enemy in the way. If they tried getting close to me, they'd be like, ouch. Yeah. And I'd be like, you can't touch this. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Now, I know what you all are thinking. Slam it, nega slam it. There's a base, there's a, it may be the same word, but it's a different prince, but it's a different story and different principle. Nega slam it is like, de it's more devilish and it's not, it's not, is, and he is not like the Nega Wisp, even though he has its teeth. There's a difference. There's basically like a major difference here. So, yeah. Okay, this Nega Wisp, Frenzy Wisp, basically. It, Makes me go crazy. Not like Nega Slam, though. Do not confuse this with Nega Slam, even though ugh, the word is like completely similar. All right, Void Wisp next. So basically, with this Wisp, I was like able to like vacuum anything into anything into like. To, to nothing but air like in evaporation or like disintegration straight into my wrist gauntlet. And sometimes I usually trap them in like a cage or something. I usually use this to like um, trap evil entities or... Anyone who would basically, you get the idea. No one of them will be confusing. Okay, Rocket Wisp. Basically just enhanced my Rocket Skates a bit. And it's boost. So basically, I was able to have like more thrust. Including in flight as well. Now it's able to somehow reach space somehow which I kind of find completely impossible yeah usually the rocket wisp itself is like it's like just firing up into the sky just going straight up until it wears off basically in the enhanced version to me it's like some sort of flight capability similar to the Hyper Wisp Enhanced version, but with more thrust. So, and another thing about it is like it usually. I basically can also like fire missiles, like. Heat seekers, guided missiles, out of my wrist gauntlets as well. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. 
I really like that. I really like that technique. Because I always been like doing some tests that way it would malfunction because if it did malfunction if it did malfunction it would be like completely useless and I would be like uh So basically, yeah, yeah, okay, this one is like, this, this wisp, I've, basically, I found one of them, his name, this first wisp that I found, his name was like Tefro, yes, with an O, do not confuse it with the, thought about that, because like, it's like, because it's a volcanic rock, and as those who might know what you're thinking, basically, I hate to hate to stop here for a bit, but I add the O instead of A, that would just confuse things a bit. Like, what the heck? Yeah, Tefro the Burst Wisp. And basically, those tips on his he has like more tips on his head. That's very different indeed. Yeah, that Burst Wisp has like always been like helpful to me ever since my Forces age. Yeah. Really like it. Okay. Basically, Okay, onto the enhanced power. So basically, I was able to do like multiple burst jumps. I know this is similar to obvious to the burst wisping, but the burst wisp itself. But I get to do like it's two times the jump, the air jump. Basically. I can be able to like shoot balls of fire out of my wrist gauntlets. Basically, also enhances my flight, but but will give me more enhanced firepower. Yeah. Okay, asteroid. Wisp. So basically, this is going to be like a difficult one for me because I know this was like completely hard to memorize. Basically, I know like the wisp bit in the wisp gives invincibility and stuff, and probably to like destroy some stuff in a way. But this one, I think I could like completely like transform into like some sort of like meteor when I'm in the air and I come crashing down on my big enemies who are going to be like roasted alive. By enemies, I mean like badniks, like robots. Okay, the eagle wisp. Basically, it's also... Yes, this also enhanced my flight capability, my wings actually, and it and and it also like gave me the self awareness. Well, not like self awareness, like basically I was able to like be aware of my surroundings more clearly. In the enhancement of this wisp. And guys, I know what you're all thinking. This is basically it's basically how I discovered the it's basically in my occurrence how I discovered these enhanced powers. So yeah. If you're confused about one thing, you could be like I don't know this. 
well, now you're knowing. Now you're knowing. Soon you'll know. Okay, this one is basically... The craziest ones I've seen. Basically, when I first tested this, I ended up getting a Rick Roll. <laughs> and it was like very hilarious. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, also, somehow dance fight with this rhythm with in my capabilities. Like, stun enemies into, like, a dancing movement, and, like, they get caught in my trap. All right, the Lightning Wisp. This one is one of my favorites, and, like, the <clears throat> Wisp inversions, because it, like, you fall along with the trail and stuff. <clears throat> <clears throat> but for but for me, I somehow like create like it's a, it somehow supercharges me. Somehow, like electrically. Like, like Tris is like lightning, and basically it's the same pr basic principle. Not like the base, same basic principle, but it's the same thing, different word. Okay, Quake with next. So basically, I'll be able to like create seismic impacts on like my enemies with this. And of course, like punch through walls. Bye. Had this wisp power to my eyes. Okay, this one is like completely the weirdest because my bro diorite, everyone just calls him dynamite, and for good reason. Every time he gets angry or like scared or something, he's known to be blowing up like a nuke or bomb or C4 but my occasion to this I create like a query that's only in range to enemies That way, basically, yes, I give warnings before I use this power. That way, any good person is, like, unharmed. And this one is, like, the most common one I've, like, had with me. Ghost Wisp. Basically, I was able to, like, turn invisible due to this power. I believe Star already knows about this. And I also used it com very compatible wise with the uh, Ghost Wisp that I created. Wait, Ghost Wisp. Ghost Wisp. Ghost Wisp. But the Ghost Wisp I created. So, yeah. Anyways. Basically, now that plus mech looks his return, I don't know what he'll end up looking like this time. I think Stack already knows. He's told me. Basically, I am not gonna like exactly like what's gonna be coming. Like, might be a might be a bad occurrence coming, because, like, not only he has returned, but Mimic has returned. And I'm kind of sick of those two. Even the other enemies. I mean, come on. You know what I think of the 
those two villains? Dumb. <laughs>